Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast and in today's forecast we'll be talking about a huge pattern change that'll be coming to the United States this weekend into next week and this is going to change the weather entirely across the country because we are going to see a huge temperature flip across much of the United States with much warmer temperatures in the forecast next week but before that we are going to have a nice shot of winter this weekend in addition to this we're going to be talking about where we'll be seeing rain severe weather and even some snow over the next several days i'll be giving you the latest breakdown on everything that you need to know in this forecast and let's begin first with what's happening across the united states today and we will begin with the eastern tier of the united states which is actually quite active right now first off we have a lot of cloud cover coming out of the pacific ocean and as well as the gulf of mexico lots of moisture actually surging up here into the southern tier of the united states this will keep many areas cloudy this weekend in a in addition to that, we are going to be watching for a lot of rainfall across areas like Florida and along the immediate Gulf Coast, which will actually cause issues if you're over near the Daytona 500. That is happening this weekend. It is going to be a mess over there due to how much rain is going to be falling there this weekend. We also have a cold front that's pushing right now through parts of the southern plains, and behind this cold front, it is actually getting quite cold. Tomorrow will be one of the coldest days of this entire month thus far. Many areas in the United States will be dropping into the 30s and 40s for high temperatures temperatures tomorrow, like Texas, for example, which is not something we see very often during this time of the year. In addition to this, we have another area of snow that's currently actively happening. So this is happening across areas in the Ohio Valley. It's actually overperforming a little bit. Many areas back over in Illinois, Indiana, and Ohio have already seen several inches of snowfall, and a little bit more snow is to come over the next several hours before this activity moves into both the Northeast United States and as well as the Mid-Atlantic region. Back over on the West Coast of the United States, States. It's staying quite active out there as well. Something, again, we don't usually see very often, but it is staying very active over there with some showers and also some higher winds along the immediate coastline. Quick little detailed breakdown on the winter weather event tonight. Snow will continue across Pennsylvania, Ohio, and Kentucky. This is around 7 o'clock, so notice some moderate snowfall in southern Ohio back into Kentucky. Overall, in Indiana, snow will be winding down. By about 9 to 10 o'clock tonight, that snow will be moving into West Virginia, where light, moderate and even at times heavy snowfall is in the forecast. Many areas will see upwards of a half a foot of snow across parts of southern Pennsylvania back into West Virginia. By midnight tonight, that snow is moving out of Kentucky unless you're in very far eastern Kentucky. In the southern New York and even into parts of Connecticut, you'll see a little bit of light snowfall tonight. Once we go into tomorrow morning, though, most of the snowfall is going to be starting to weaken out. A lot of the snow that's remaining by sunrise tomorrow will be light, and the only snow left will be primarily in southern New England, which is not going to be anything in comparison to what we just saw a few days ago back on Monday and Tuesday with that significant winter storm that happened back over in southern New England. And as we go further into Saturday, so around lunchtime, snow will continue back up in the north and east. It'll eventually clear out as we go into Sunday with really nothing remaining anywhere in the mid-Atlantic or in the northeast United States. In terms of total snowfall accumulation between now all the way through tomorrow morning, some areas in southern Pennsylvania back into West Virginia will pick up upwards of a half a foot of snow, but most areas overall between one to three inches, perhaps even two to four inches in some spots, and even back over near Long Island in New York City, you're going to have another shot of two to four inches of snowfall tonight into tomorrow morning, which again, if you're in New York City, you know that you've really not seen much snow over the last couple of winters, so this is a bit of a sigh of relief if you're into snowfall. All right, let's talk more about the weather pattern that's coming to the United States over the next couple of weeks, because things are going to change a ton across the country, and we're going to begin first with the future radar, then we'll dive into the temperature anomalies, give you an idea of what's going to be happening with the temperatures, because there's going to be a big temperature flip as well. Beginning with tomorrow, again, notice that low pressure system just south of New England. This will bring some heavy snowfall to areas offshore, so for those that are fish out there, be mindful. If you're back in southern New England, though, light snow is really the only concern. Going into Saturday and Sunday, notice all that moisture is going to continue to pummel rain into Florida, and that is not going to end anytime soon, by the way. This is going to start really early tomorrow morning and run all the way through Sunday. That rain will continue to fall across Florida, and that's going to lead to the potential for some isolated flash flooding, and it will also affect like things like the Daytona 500, like outdoor sports events, and this will all continue through Sunday. So if there is any sort of race happening like the Daytona 500, it'll probably be delayed until Monday. Once we go into Monday and Tuesday, notice things become very quiet across the majority of the lower 48. The only exception to this will be along the west coast of the United States, where there will be several shots of showers and even some snowfall in the higher elevation 
locations. By the time we go into Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, really not much. The European model, though, as we get closer to Friday, picks up on a small disturbance that will eventually probably grow as we go into Thursday and Friday. That actually could bring the shot of some severe weather and maybe even maybe some sort of winter storm, but it's really too uncertain at this point what this will exactly do. The European model is showing that this would become some sort of bomb cyclone, which means it would drop 24 millibars of pressure over a 24-hour period. Again, this is entirely possible. We've already seen a couple of these this winter. I wouldn't rule this out, but again, we're still talking almost 7 to 10 days out. Things are definitely going to change over the next few days. By the way, this is the jet stream, also giving you an idea of what's happening with the weather pattern across the United States. Notice back up here, by the way, in Canada, this is actually an Arctic blast that's happening back up in Canada. Many areas dropping 50 to 60 degrees below zero. I think a lot of us are thankful that that is not impacting the United States because that is downright frigid. But notice across much of the lower 48, there's really not much happening here in the jet stream. We don't really have any organized trough features uh, other than perhaps back down the southeast as we go into Sunday. That would be from that, again, rain penetration event that will be happening in Florida. Once we go into Tuesday and Wednesday, notice ridging really builds across much of the United States. And all this yellow and red is representing a fairly strong jet stream. That means if you are, you know, for example, on an airplane, there's going to be a lot of turbulence. But on the flip side of things, we actually have a ridge that is building down here in the southern tier of the United States. And this is expected to be quite strong. So I do expect many areas, at least through mid next week, to probably stay pretty dry. Things will likely change, though, as we get closer to next weekend in the United States. Now, the other big weather event that's coming to the country as we go into this weekend and next week are really two different things. The first thing that we're going to be talking about is this cold blast that'll dive all the way into the southern plains tonight into tomorrow. In addition to that, we're going to see some of that cold air in the northeast and the Ohio Valley. So notice that cold air mass is going to quickly race through the Midwest. It'll basically basically be gone by Sunday. Notice this as we go into Sunday, some cold air in the northeast United States and Texas. But eventually, as we go into early next week, things are going to change entirely. We are going to go back to well above average temperatures no later than Tuesday or Wednesday for the majority of the United States. So if you're anywhere in the Great Plains, you can expect well above average temperatures back even into the northeast United States. You can also expect that things might change a little bit more as we go into perhaps Friday of next week. But again, there's just too much uncertainty right now with the current forecast. Temperatures tomorrow morning, these are, these are the actual temperatures, by the way, not the wind chills. Notice in areas like the Midwest, we're talking temperatures down near zero degrees in Wisconsin. It's going to be very chilly. As we go to Sunday morning, things still stay relatively cold. We're going to have below freezing temperatures stretching all the way down into central Mississippi, by the way, which is definitely pretty uncommon back down in Mississippi. So if you've planted anything, be mindful of this. Again, areas like Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, many of those areas will drop below freezing Sunday morning. Make sure you are protecting sensitive vegetation. These are the wind chills tomorrow morning, by the way. Many areas will be below zero across the Midwest. Many areas at least below 10 degrees for a feels like temperature. And then once we go into Sunday morning, pretty similar stuff. That Arctic air mass will actually move into the north and east. Again, really not too, too cold compared to what we saw back in January. But notice that Arctic air back up in Canada. Many areas 30 to 40 degrees below zero for feels like temperatures as we go into Sunday. And then for the long term, again, temperatures are expected to warm back up as we go into the tail end of February. Most of next week will be above average for temperatures across the United States. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like the button down below and subscribe if you've not already.